Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we're going to be learning how to control the access of data inside our classes and methods and anything else, right? Inside our program. So let's go ahead and open our co-editor. Really simple. I'm going to do a save as on class underscore car 3.php or you can do a save as on class inheritance. It's up to you. All right. And we just want some of this functionality there especially the class and we're going to call this class underscore axis all right so now we want to open this in the browser yeah, I'm going to explain a couple of details to you now all right so now this word usually to control data we use three three different keywords that um, will help us make this happen first one is we can declare properties public The second is protected, and the third one is private. When we declare something public, it means the same thing as bar. It means that it's available through our whole program, All right? So this data here is public, very descriptive. Protected means that it's only available to this class or any subclasses that will, or maybe a class that will extend the same functionality as this one. So it will be available to that one. For private, it will only be available to this class, meaning that even if you, if you extend the class, you inherit the, some of these properties, you will not be able to use it, the private information. You can make methods private, and you can make them public and protected the same way as you can make properties. All right. So let's first let's take out let's take this out of here because I want to show you an example of what I'm talking about. Now we know that we can come here and say, you know what, BMW, I want to see your wheels, right? So let's first do the echo. And we want to say wheels. When we go on the browser, we see four, right? That is perfect. We can do that. And we can, as a matter of fact, use any of these because, right? Well, we'll look, look at this. Look what happened. I use hood. We get an error, right? Of course we get an error. Think about it. I say we can use this within this class and protect it. We can use it inside. Right now what we're doing is we're trying to use it outside the class. You see? But now if I go here, let's see. Let's make a method here and say we show show property. Let's call this show property. And let's go ahead and say this hood. And let's just, I just echo it from here. All right. And instead of this one here, we're going to be calling show property. And I'm going to explain to you what I did right now. But you just know this. Look at that. Now we can see that. You see, even though this is protected, this hood is protected, we can see it because we are using it. And I told you, we can use it inside a class or inside any subclass that extends it. All right, so right now we are using this inside the class. We can go ahead and comment this out and create another class. We call this I don't know semi. This is by the way a big truck, right? <laughs> and we can go ahead and instantiate this, right? And say new semi. All right, and then we say semi extends. And if you don't know what I'm writing here, you need to go back to the video and look at the class inheritance, all right? You need to go back, not on this video, but on, on another lecture. And this is Stan's car. So now what I want to do is I want to use, I want to use this function here. As a matter of fact, I don't have to use that function there. Well, I could if I wanted to. Let's take that out of there and just put it right here. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to use a semi to call that and look at that. You see that? So I made another class here that extended this class and I was able to use the protected inside this, right, with a show property. So as you can see, the show protected, we can use it inside the class or inside any subclasses. But what happens if I try to use the engine? Let's see. Let's try to actually 
do this, the engine one. I get an error because the engine is private. I cannot use the engine property right there. It says undefined property, send my engine. It doesn't even recognize it. Undefined and the engine. All right? So I can't use that private there. It doesn't even know that it's there because it's private to that, right? So how can I use this private? Well, I'll take that out of here, this function here. Let's put it back here. And let's go ahead and do B and W here. And let's just take this out of here. B and W. And we can use it inside the class. Private. All right. So know the differences here. Probably we can use anywhere we want. And I will actually make this a little neater for you. So when you go to your course exercise files, you can see what's going on. But know that probably we can use it anywhere. Protected, we can only use it inside the class or inside subclasses. All right. And methods, of course. And the private, we can only use it inside this specific class. We cannot use it any in any subclasses or outside the function, right? So just private is a more tighter security for data. This is like a semi-tight uh, security, a semi-security in between public and private. And this is just everything free data, right? But anyway, thank you so much for watching this lecture. Hopefully you understand the concept and know that this is very important and that you should be using public, protect, and private to control the access of data inside your program. Take care, and I'll see you in the next lesson.